Hi, Ronnie Kose here from Cora Rehabilitation's Riverside location, where I'm the physical therapist and clinic manager. Today I'm joined by Eric and Ryan, two of my students, and they're going to be our stretching demonstrators today. Our video today will be about static stretching. This is a follow-up to our dynamic warm-up video. Our dynamic warm-up video is designed to prep you to run right before you run, and this is designed for after you run. The static stretching is really good after you've gotten that warm up, after you've done your run, your body's nice and loose, and you can actually make some physiological changes and help prevent injury down the road. The first stretch that we're going to do is our hamstring stretch. Eric and Ryan will sit up at the front of their chair, they'll put one leg out, and they'll lengthen uh, the hamstring as much as possible. Here their toes are pointed up and they're ensuring that they're translating their head forward versus bending their back down towards their toe. A typical hold here will be about for 30 seconds and we want to alternate three times from the right to the left and back and forth. That'll be standard for all of our stretches that we go through. The second stretch will be a piriformis stretch. The piriformis is a hip rotational muscle and it actually goes over the sciatic nerve. So some people after they run they have some numbness and tingling going down their legs. This may help to prevent that. Here they put their ankle up on their knee and then they feel a nice pull in their butt there. Again, both of them have their backs upright. Uh, making sure that they're not hurting their back at all. The third stretch that we'll do is a quad stretch. The quad is a very powerful muscle that uh, allows for knee extension and it goes just above the knee. Here you just pull your ankle back towards your butt. Again, hold it for about 30 seconds. The fourth stretch that we'll do is the hip flexor stretch. The hip flexors are the muscles that allow for this movement here and you're going to do that about 100 times per minute every time that you're running. So it's really, really vital to make sure that you're stretching this and actually doing the opposite of what you would do when you're running. Here what I'd like to see is that your knee is behind your toe. You don't want your knees going uh, in front of your toe. We want to make sure that the back leg actually just has the toes on the ground, not the heels. That'll lengthen everything out from here all the way down. You want to see that nice lengthening there. The fifth stretch that we'll do is for the hip adductors. The hip adductors, when you're sprinting, are actually the most used muscle in the legs. So it's really, really important to get a nice stretch afterwards. Here, what I want you to do is make sure, again, that your knee is behind your toes and you're leaning away from the side that you're stretching. So right here, uh, Ryan is stretching his right leg and Eric is stretching his left. Again, hold for about 30 seconds, nice and easy. Make sure when we're doing any of these stretches that you're not feeling any pain, you're just feeling a gentle stretch enough to make a difference. The next stretch we'll do is for the IT band. The IT band is going to go all the way from the hip down to the knee. It's that super, super tight band. It's even tender to touch sometimes. Uh, what I want you to do is the muscle that you're stretching, you leave that on the ground and then you step over that one. Now you're going to pop that hip that you're stretching out towards the side and you really feel that side lengthen. The next two stretches are going to be for the gastroc and the soleus, so the lower leg here. What we're going to do, we're going to pull this chair in. Now Eric's got something to hold on to and actually apply a little bit of resistive force. What he's going to do is step one leg back. This is now the leg that he's stretching. He's going to do two. He's going to do one with the leg straight, which is going to stretch our gastroc, and one with the leg bent, which is going to stretch our soleus. Perfect. So go to that straight leg position. What I want to see here is that his toes and his heel are both on the ground, and then we've got a nice straight leg, uh, straight leg here. He's going to feel this up top in the calf. Now if he keeps the heel down but he bends the knee, now we're going to feel this a little bit lower in that muscle called the soleus, which is just above the Achilles tendon. Nice and gentle here. Most people overstretch with this stretch specifically, so we want to make sure that we're just keeping that within our limits. The final two stretches that we're going to have Eric demonstrate here are the upper trap and the levator scapula. Both of these muscles are up in the shoulder. Now, how many people stretch their shoulders after they run? Very, very few. But when you're running, you might be elevating a little bit with these two muscles and causing some neck pain. These two muscles here, I want you to put your hands in front of you, relax your shoulders, and then you're just going to simply lean your head to the side. It's important to let gravity do the work here so we're not forcing it too much and actually causing an injury. So, Eric is letting gravity take his head down to the right. He's actually lengthening the upper trap here. If we want to lengthen the levator scapula, what we're going to do is start in neutral. We're going to look to the right first and then let gravity take our head down like we're looking at our foot or our pocket. Gravity again is assisting and we're getting that levator scapula nice and stretched. Make sure that again, gravity is involved and we're not overdoing it. We don't want to have a muscle strain because of a stretch. 
Thank you for joining us. As always, feel free to come to any Jacksonville area core rehabilitation location where we'll do a free 15 minute injury assessment. Also be sure to see Jacksonville Running Company for all of your running needs. Thank you.